Alright, welcome back to more Star Wars The Old Republic. Yay! Yippee! <laughs> um, we're, we're back to find more Star Wars The Old Republic, obviously. And let's refresh with these things. Uh, I think yeah, Candorus has told us that Janus Nal is a droid in the upper city shop that I could that I could use to get into the Sith base. So it's just to mention my name, his name, and she'll sell him to me. And Candorus Ordo, a Mandalorian mercenary working for Davik, will help you get off the planet if you break into the Sith military base and recover the planetary codes. A T3 droid should be able to get you past uh, security doors, but it'll take more than a deal with the Sith troopers inside. Take more than that to deal with them. Bleh. Words. So, that's what we are doing here. We are on Terrace trying to escape. We found Bastila, the Jedi, last episode. Uh, she wasn't very happy and we had some talk with her and now she's kind of better, but hanging out with Daddy Karth and Mission Veo today and yeah we were about to head into the shop which I believe is this one because you can see a droid here. We go talk to the lady Janice Nall or something. I just said her name I forget it already and we're going to sneak our way into that Sith base so let's go talk to her. Ah there she is. What's up, bitch? Come in, come in, Janice Nall at your service. Welcome to my droid and droid supply shop. Always good to see a new face. Customers are hard to come by. A lot of the tourist citizens won't even come here. They refuse to shop at a store owned by Twilight. <laughs> Uh, what do they have against Twi'leks? Kipuna, they don't bona like na aliens Kimpa much here in the upper terrace. They tolerate us Twi'leks, but they'd rather see us as dancers in the Katina than successful Rangakun business owners. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. You'll see a few aliens around, but most of the non-human sick in the lower city. I've learned not to dwell on it, though. I rather stay focused on running my store. My selection has been limited right now. The Sith confiscated all my salt droids. But I've got a utility droid you might find interesting. <clears throat> uh, sorry, McCandorus said you would sell the T3 M4 droid to me. Oh, Candor sent you. Well, why did you say so? Okay, the droid is ready. You're gonna have it for 2,000 credits. <laughs> well, I'm evil, so give me that droid for free or Davik will close the shop down permanently. Hey, I don't want trouble with Davik. Look, take the droid, he's yours. But next time Davik wants for you to do some customer, he's out of luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that, but I'm evil. <laughs> so I have to take him. And... Do I take Daddy or do I take Mission? Mission's always fun. I don't, wanna, I don't feel like taking Bastila. I just like I don't care for her. Hmm. Okay, well. I'll go with whatever party configuration I have. Oh. Hey, what? Hold on a second. I... How do I... I what? <laughs> but I selected. Sure. Okay, can I. Solo mode? Okay, can I. I. Okay. <laughs> how do I get the party select screen back? Where do I do that again? I don't remember how to party select. I thought I added the droid. Ah, party selection. I guess I have to remove you, then add you. 
Yeah. There we go. Uh, just auto level you up. I don't really care. You have a blaster pistol. Anything better for you to have? One to six. One to eight. Maybe. Maybe. Let's let's do it. Let's be at. Nothing particularly helpful. Okay. What? Okay. Now, this should have updated. Oh, no, it did not. It just went away. I had to get into this, get past the security doors. Okay. Cool. Now, well, let's. I think the Sith base is this way. I think it's the only direction I haven't been. Let's see what this is, and then hopefully it's the base. If it isn't, we'll find some... ah military base. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I must need you. You must be able to do that. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, B. Yes. Can I now make you leave? Because I just need you to get through the door. Uh. Let's see. I want to... Can I remove you now and add you back? <laughs> hey, you can't come in here. This is a restricted area. You better tell me what you're doing or I'm going to hit the alarm. You touch that alarm and you're dead. Eh. Why not? I'm evil. Mana, mana, Don't tota, shoot. I'll just work here. I've never wanted any part of this. I would quit and the Sith took over, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's bad luck. I still have to kill you. You shouldn't threaten a girl who's got an alarm at her desk. Yeah, 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 I know. I want the dark side points. Nope, come this way. Oh, this way, sir. <laughs> All right, can you do anything? No, nope. okay. Any remains? Yes. Any more remains? Oh, she had remains. A data pad, okay. Or maybe that was the security officer dude. Um, uh, oops. Oh, here? No, here. There we go. Okay, so we had data pad. Uh, oh, maybe this one? Uh, this seems to be an activity log for the day. Of interest is the following entry. The power conflict we installed in the elevator seems to have solved the shield outrage. Outage. <laughs> outrage. Problem in the droid. Finish tuning it today. Okay. So many things. I wish it could be like, hey, I've seen all this. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but can't do that. A double bladed lightsaber, you say, huh? I'm gonna use it. I like dual wielding. Reception table. Can I do anything? Hello? Oh, I can. Uh, system commands? Take all turrets offline. How many spikes do I have? Two. Hold on a second. <laughs> Let me just, uh,. Come, oops, come spikes. Just give myself a shit ton. Yeah, okay, slice back in. System commands, take the turrets offline. Yes, thank you. Take sentry droids offline, uh, thank you. I put the area schematics, uh, thank you. And let's go to the computers. K, 
Okay, those guys are off. Oops. Oh, oh. Uh, barracks secondary. Oh, I can overload that. Bazap. Hey, hey. Uh, reception medical. Okay. Uh, control center. Ooh. Uh, elevatory. Open the elevator. Choink. And... Uh... Disable the droid. Ka-chunk. Meow. <coughs> Armory. And... Okay. Alright. Bye. Thanks for the experience. Now, where am I going? We have the whole place available. The elevator is likely where I'm trying to go. But I want to check out everything else. So, let's get going. Hey, what's up, medical droid? Oh, hello. Ah! There we go. Do you have any loot? There is a cylinder. Nice, nice. Ooh, and you have remains. Nice. Especially like that. What's that? <laughs> okay, let's check out this place. What's this? What? Mines. Yeah? This is why I brought you. So you can give me the mines. Gimme, gimme. What? What? Yeah? What? Security. And you've pretty much got everything dealt with, right? Like, I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, I think there's nothing else for me to do here. This is more of a... If you get past the reception without having to actually use the terminal there, you can use this terminal instead. I see, I see. Oh, good evening, Duros. I'm gonna save. Cause I'm about to be evil. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping, at least. You that human, remember me? You helped me once before when the Sith were trying to arrest me outside your apartment. Do you remember? Uh, sorry, I don't remember who you are. I suppose all duos look alike to you, human. In any case, it doesn't matter whether you remember how we are not. I am in need of your help once again. The Sith are going to execute me for removing the Sith corpse from your apartment complex. Please, help me get out of this cage. What's in this for me? I have nothing to offer you other than my gratitude. Please, human, have pity on me. Uh, I think I'll just leave you here. No, human, please, I beg you to not leave me here. Just all, set all the panels on the red wall to off position to release me. Is that too much to ask? Meh. Is there nothing I could say to persuade you, human? Please, have pity on me. Reconsider, I beg you. Yeah, nah. Can I set them all to red? <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here. Continue to explorate this place. Hey. I heard I so many grenades. Do you have any remains, Daddy? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, there's a foot locker. Hell yeah. Okay. 
useless things for me, but eh, whatever. The Iron Boy. No problem. Got it. Mission. Huh? Oh, you're injured. Okay. Makes sense, but also level up. Sure. There we go. Now you're full health again. Ooh, somebody give so much stuff it's so good okay do any of that actually help any of you guys what do you have your dual wielding cards blaster 49 plus 9 is 2 to 7 okay what about like this Three to, seven, 3 to 10, you have a little bit of a tighter window there, but you could have a more potential there. 3 to 6, terrible. That would just give you 1 to 6. Because these are two hand weapons. Hmm. For 11. It could give you slightly more of a roof, or hone you in a little more. Dexterity? Sure, you get low gloves. And you get this. And then mission Veo. You have a heavy blaster, and what about a second heavy blaster? You have minus two still. Let's give you another heavy blaster, I guess. And kind of it. You have a stealth field generator. What about this? Bludgeoning, fortitude, strength, and saves, plus fortitude. Hmm. What is this? Okay, device regulates the body. It functions. I wonder how many. Uh, emergencies of fortitude support. I don't know. Resistance to bludgeoning? Maybe. Reflexes. Uh, I'm not, probably never going to use your stealth field generator, so I should give you something. Let's do this one. Fuck it. Yes? Uh huh. Yes, yeah. ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What? There we go. <laughs> Alright. Check out this place. Well, they know why did you do that? You stupid bitch. Okay, uh -huh. what? We have an antidote kit? Yes, we do. Yes? Uh, oh. Hell yeah. So much stuff. What can I do here? Probably nothing new? Yeah, nothing new. Okay. And it doesn't look like there's much else out here. Oh, there is this person. Hello. Oh, goodbye already. Sick. Any remains? No? Nothing? What is this? Leads to that. It's not very useful. Ready? Huh? Mission? Give me? Yes? Thank you. Might as well head this way. Go to this room. Ah, it's this, okay. What's this? Foot locker. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Anything else? No? Okay. And now we go over here. Right, that is the next okay, yeah, it is the next area. Nice, nice, nice. And we check out this. Ooh, it's in here. Ooh, remains. And a foot locker, fuck yeah. And ooh, maybe 
A cylindrical? Nope, nothing. Okay. Damn. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> your shields are off. Sort of like a mini boss, I guess. Oh, do I have a. What? What? Okay. Sonic adhesive plasma ion. There we go. Did that even hit you? Nice. I assume you have remains. You do not. I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. Let's go into the Sith base then. And let's save. That's probably a good idea. Okay. Who dares to What's break up, my meditation? will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Okay. I'm going to enjoy cutting you. Ah, yes. Feed the hatred and anger within yourself. Call upon the power of the dark side. Okay. But not even that can save you now. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Okay, Daddy, let's do this. Bitch. Uh -huh. Bye bye, Daddy. It was nice knowing you. Ooh, you got a bunch of stuff for me. Hell yeah, what did you get me? I don't think there was any armor. Strength gauntlets, sure. I'm a melee build. Uh, light scan visor. Awareness plus four. Hmm. I get plus one to anyone anyway, screw. We're getting these things. Oh god, that's gonna be fun to look at. <laughs> uh you get to use this one because it gives you plus one demolitions. And what else? I guess you could have the neural band. I have an adrenaline amplifier on you. It's just reflex plus two. What about this power belt? Uh, let's go like this, and then maybe I equip... Don't equip that, but I equip this. Wait, no. I equip the power belt. Give me extra strength. Just go all out on strength. Yeah. Okay. Because I think strength is for melee. And now there's even more stuff. Probably nothing very particularly useful. Just like... Yeah. I don't think there's anything particularly cray-cray. Prototype, Vulcan Shock, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Is that all that was down here? Uh, you've covered the departure codes need to escape terrorists. Now you just had to bring them back to Candor's Ordo in the Lover City Cantina. Oh, okay, cool. We did it! Yay! Yippee! <laughs> Sick. Oh, and I leveled up. Nice. Ooh, look how dark side I am. <gasps> yeah, yes. That's exciting. Okay, I want more charisma, most likely. I like charisma. For me. But oh, if I get more... If I get more of this, I get more points on, a special, on essential skills. Yeah, let's bring that up a little bit. Okay. 
Uh, can I can I upgrade that more? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have two left. Um. I guess let's get repair up one more. And then defeats. Could master two-handed fighting, or I could get better critical strike. I get dueling against strength. Could get. I could get flurry, maybe. Because I could just make, get an extra attack, but you lose several for forty defense. But like, I have invulnerability on. So it doesn't really matter. I could just upgrade this more, but I could do this so I have better attacks. Let's do this one. Okay. All right, I guess I might meet you at the cantina because this might take a while to get around. Oh, okay. Apparently it is not straight to the cantina. It is peak to daddy. Time. Yes, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? Uh, I want to continue our discussion. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yes, <laughs> I'm bored. Uh, don't you think you'd feel better if you discussed it? Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Song. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. Um... You don't... you didn't think he would betray the Republic? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst. I just... I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I could have stopped it all. Do you really believe that? I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Uh, I do the same in your shoes? Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go! <laughs> okay. Let's see. You've learned that Karth's mentor, Saul Karath, was one of the first to defect to the Sith cause. It's no wonder Karth has trust issues, though he seems reluctant to talk about it right now. Alright. Now, we shall continue on to... Oh, God. Huh? Ready? Sure. Yeah? Some healing. Now we will continue on to... Ready? What? The cantina. Oh my God, look at me. Anyway, sorry. Cantina. These human, I'm injured in need of assistance. These human children keep kicking me and hitting me. I cannot reason with them, but if I fight back, I could be arrested. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Uh, please, you better help me. Maybe these offspring of your species will listen to you. Sorry, I don't want to get involved. Yeah, why would a human want to help you, freak? Hey, you aren't going to just let him keep hurting him, are you? You're a freak, too. Why don't you get out of here, you freaks? 
You want me to come over there and kick your little butts? Oh, that's it. Now you're in for it. Oh, run for it! Oh, thank you. I was returning from a visit with the work associate when those children attacked me and chased me through the streets. Um, do you have any kind of reward for helping I'm sorry, human. I wish I had a reward to give you to show my appreciation for your intervention. But I have no suitable reward on my person. Once more, thank you for saving me from those human children. I must take leave of you now. My life may be one more of where I am. Okay. I wondered if that would do anything. Also, as you can tell, I went the wrong direction, and I'm just wandering aimlessly still, so I will continue to meet you there, but I'm just having to cut out quite a bit of walking. <laughs> Whoops. Javia's Cantina, finally here. <laughs> This one is the correct one. <laughs> God, it took me forever because I fucking went the wrong direction. I went like all these different things. It was just so bad. I figured you'd be bad. Hey, Daddy. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces and I can get you inside Davik's base and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Uh. Okay. Showing up. How do we get inside? Well, Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. That's not a bad plan. It might just work. While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. He's joined a party. He has special cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. Damn, Daddy. You better work, bitch. Uh, I guess I'll take both daddies with me. <laughs> oh. Main menu. Okay. Billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. <laughs> Look at that cake. <laughs> Barely available. So, Candorous. I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. 
You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Cantorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Cantorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Um... Let's see... It was very impressive just doing it rather than... Oh, it was very impressive, as was your display in the case. So, Bridget had to learn that double-crossers tend to end up dead. Yeah, sure. An important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Dadvik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, Feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Dad, Vic. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you, that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Okay. Cool. Uh, as promised, Karis got you inside Dadvik's estate. The Taurus Crime Lord gave you a tour of his facilities, including the hangar where the Ebon Hawk is stored. All you have to do now is find the codes to disable the Hawks' security systems. Okay. And you've been joined by Candor's Ordo, a skilled Mandalorian, mercenary. You know very little about him, however. Okay. Cool. I like that we have, like, a little bit of the map already seen. Throne room. Interesting. Well, okay. Cool, we still have all of our shit. That's good. Okay, oh, and what? Daddy leveled up. Ooh, like how evil he is. Hell yeah. Uh-huh. What? All right. Oh, and even thing in that locker. Yes. What is it? What is it? What is it? Yeah, not bad, I guess. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna save as well. Whoops, not load game. Oh god, don't do that. Uh, this one. And then we're gonna go explore and do what Dadvik does not want us to do. What's this? That probably leaves. What's this? No problem. Got hey! It. What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here or I'll call the guards. Pudu, 
The guards <laughs> slaves under the outer, outer slave quarters. I can't let them hey, see baby, me here. Wait. I wasn't actually going... Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. I could put on that outfit for you if you want. You can't call the guards if you're dead again. You should have picked an easier target. By the time the guards show up, they're gonna have to take you out of here in pieces. Yeah, good luck with that. You asked for this! Oh, I'm attacking that people. We started a fight. Ooh, hello. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Your remains? No. Wow. Kinda cringe. Alright, let's go this way. Let's see who we can kill in no here. Problem. Got it. No one to kill? Okay. There is a giant rank ore head though. No problem. <laughs> Got it. What a data pad. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe there's another one no in here. Problem. Let's see. Got it. Hair trigger and a bizarre card. Okay. We have a data pad. Uh, what the hell are these? No description set? What the fuck? That's so weird. This wasn't the... Okay, maybe this is the data pad. Okay. Uh, this data pad contains a record of Kalonord's trophy skills. Send trophy kills. Sentient and otherwise. Last entry is an account of a recent Rancor hunt. What the Rancor lacked in intelligence, it made up for in size, strength, and ferocity. Conventional blasters were all but useless against its impenetrable hide, and I was forced to resort to more unorthodox methods to bring down the beast. <clears throat> Some well-placed mines near a watering hole were the first step, their explosions hurting the creature into a dead-end canyon. Canyon? Interesting. Where I lay in wait, perched among the rocks. As soon as the rancor was below me, I dropped down into its mass onto its massive neck. It reared back, bucking and clawing in an effort to dislodge me. But I had the perfect position. Unable to shake me, the monster opened its mouth in an outraged howl, and I was able to flip several flag flag frag grenades down its gaping maw. The explosion blew me clear of the shredded corpse, but luckily the head was still intact. If I take it to Terrace, I'm sure Dadvik will mount it on its his trophy room along with other heads I've collected for him. Aw, you want to impress Daddy. Dadvik's also expressed interest in hiring me. I may take him up on his offer, even though I still have yet to claim the greatest hunting trophy of them all, a pearl from one of the great dra crate dragons of Tatooine. Hell yeah. Oh, and the terrace launch codes. This data pad contains the codes necessary to launch a ship from the planet's surface without being destroyed by the Sith auto-targeting system. Cool. I wonder if there's anything else of interest. Sith base pass card. <laughs> Cute. Sith papers. These official looking papers identify the bearer as being on a special assignment by order of the Sith government of Terrace. They also warn of gruesome penalties for anyone foolish enough to challenge the bearer. Sick. <laughs> well, a Pazak side deck. Interesting. Anyways, shall we continue? I think so. Nope. Any more people to kill? Got it. Who? Why are you here? Get out when we call the gods. <laughs> Look at that cake. <laughs> Time to die, bug face. I'm mad now. See how you like me call guards? You die now. Okay. Dark side plus. Hell yeah. Okay, it was nice knowing you. I just want to loot your stuff. Do you have any more? Nope, kind of toxic. Cool. Let's go this way. Oh, slaves. 
Hey, I'm just here to loot your stuff. Okay, bye. Well, let's go this way and see what's over here. Ooh. And enemies. back to loot and then I guess continue along to that little tiny door tiny little room it's a eh, dinky little space Ooh, a security terminal uh, commands open all security doors thank you disable the hangar security yes upload the air schematics yes and let's go to security cameras let's go to the spice lab all these caked up guys. Let's gas the room. Oh, fuck yeah. Damn, that was loud. Okay. Throne room. Oh, that's me. Don't need to gas that room. The barracks. Don't need to gas that room. The barracks hangar. I can't gas that room. Okay, the spice lab. Let's really. Oh, I can't release really fart gas there. Dang. What about the throne room itself? Nothing. Okay. The guest room. Ooh, looks like a fun time. A hangar. And that's all? Okay. Bye bye. Ooh, and. What? What? Good. What? Uh huh. You leveled up. Nice. Let's auto level you up. Bam. Sure. Let's probably level them up and just make sure they get in like good uh what's it called? Like combat skills one of these times. Maybe if I remember next time I'll check and see how like their dual wielding is and such. See what kind of skills they got, you know? Maybe Maybe Daddy Karth is good at two-handed weapons. And I'm just not utilizing his full capabilities. Where am I going? What's that? Guest room? Okay. What's that? Is that the hangar? What is that? Where am I? Let's just go this way and see what's over here. Okay, so this way leads down that way. Okay. I think I want to go this way. Oh. Hey. Okay. That was easy. Fun room. <laughs> you stunned him, you bitch. Also, Candorous? Huh? What? Where? What are you doing back here? What the fuck? Hello? Daddy, are you lost? Are you having a senior moment? <laughs> Is it like, what are you back? Why are you back here? When did you get back here? Ready? Sure. Okay, well, should save. Could have been a little bit. And 
Thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, okay. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. Okay. Uh... Okay, you're free now. Give me my reward. I'll kill you Please myself. Don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything I know. Information worth a fortune. So just stay calm, okay? I I'll tell you what I know. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. You better come up with more of a reward if you want to walk out here alive. What? But I, I don't have anything else. Those Ebonhawk codes are worth a fortune. Isn't that enough? Please, just let me go. You might warn the gods. I better just kill you. Hey, there's no need for that. Just just run, pal, before my friend here decides to... It won't be long until Davik figures out okay. I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. Ugh, lame. We've got what we came for. We should get going. <laughs> Dark side. Okay, uh, cool. I think I'll probably just like go through these two rooms and then I'm pretty much almost done episode. Uh, 500 credits? Nice. Worth it. <laughs> All right, let's go a little bit longer. Hey, everybody. First aid, okay. Singular med pack, okay. Anybody else got anything? No. Nope. Ooh, nice remains. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And then we go down the extremely long hallway. got going on in the throne room and then we have other stuff okay security terminal okay not particularly helpful but and then just an empty hallway that leads back to the area we've been to okay cool this should be important stuff so i think i will leave this for next episode so that we can start off with a bang and also start off just immediately knowing what we're getting into because yeah we're about i'm a little under but about round right, about time to go and this feels like i should be escaping terrace next episode we'll start off with that <laughs> sort of kind of leave you with a cliffhanger but sometimes you gotta work the magic of timing to make you want more <laughs> well anyways I hope you had fun watching this episode. We did a lot of running around. We did a lot of bad things. We did a lot of killing. We did a lot of gathering people. We got the droid, and we got Candorous. We got Stalis slightly hired into the exchange. Not necessarily fully, but, you know, we're going to be... We're already well into betraying them, essentially. So we're not going to get hired, I don't think, but... Anyways, I hope you had fun watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and evening of whatever else there is. And I will catch you in the next episode of whatever you watch of mine. And yeah, <laughs> hope you had fun. Bye.